Okay. I could do that now. Space. Um. Sue me. And made a chest. Okay, whoa, whoa. It's blue. One press. Okay, I got it. I got it. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Bright lights. This is the Kudelix. 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 The spelling is in the title of the video. All right, Just deal with it yourself. 5K. And I don't know why it's 5,000. I don't want to ask questions. I don't know what happened to the other 4,999. But everyone in my patronage chat, which is the $10 chat, which is where the people are crazy, was like, oh my God, did you try the Quadelux? It's the best thing ever. The BTR5 is the BTR5 is useless. So it's, it, just phase it out. Just phase it out of your videos. It's all about the Quadelux. Qu the 5K. It's all about the 5K. It's all about the 5K. And they're not wrong, but they're also not a hundred percent right. And I don't have it here actually. I should get the um Ear Studio ES100. Because really, this is fighting that directly. Whereas the the the, the FIO Q5, I'm sorry, the FIO BTR5. Wow. It's fine. It hasn't been a long day or anything. Get out of the case, you leather bastard. DD Hi-Fi linked in the description. They make the cases for the BTR3 and 5. I'm going to ask to take that one out. But the BTR5, let me wipe it on my shirt. Because I'm a professional reviewer. I'm just going to look and point at something while I'm cleaning something on my shirt. It's fine. That didn't help at all. But the BTR5 is basically my swan song to Fio. It's, it's, the, it's the reminder that, hey, this is a company that doesn't fuck around. When they can actually pull something off, it's magical. And they've done it with their IMs a lot. And I did the BTR3, then I did the, the BTR5, and then I did the BTR3K. And the 3K gets a lot closer to the 5 than the original 3 did. And then the Ear Studio, the Ear Studio was the only thing in town for like a good solid 8 months before the BTR5 came out. Hair. But then this came out, and this has been my baby. This has been like the thing like, oh, you have IMs? Do you have a BTR5? What are you, stupid? If your answer was no, you're, I asked you if you're stupid. And it doesn't matter the, the actual cost of your IMs. As long as you can get a balanced cable for them and run them through the two and a half millimeter on this, it's basically the fucking God. Like, I don't know what it does. Like, I don't know what it does. It's a little, little stick. It's like a pack of gum, and it's amazing. But um, we'll put that aside. There's a reason I really like the 5K. It's in stock. A lot of times, this will just disappear. And the Ear Studio 100, if you remember that review, I spent a good solid 25 minutes going through the app. Now, this has a complex app, kind of like the Ear Studio, which is a lot different than the BTR5, which basically you have to run the Feo app on your phone, like the music app, and you can access it. And it's like three or four settings. It's not like absurd. And this is a little bit absurd. I think the Ear Studio still beats it in absurdity, but they're damn close. So, um, it's an LDAC capable, like that, Bluetooth DAC amp, uh, two and a half millimeter, three and a half millimeter, real close together, I didn't even think you could do it that close, integrated metal clip, the rest of the entire case is plastic, so that I could easily, uh, oh god, what did I just do? I did a thing, I think I changed track, no, I paused it, I unpaused it. We get to, there's a couple issues in design. Like it's got a wonderful box. It's a box. It's a it's a box. USB C on the bottom. Thank you. It's a new product in 2020. It doesn't have USB micro. I'm so happy. Buy it. Just buy it for that reason. I mean, just stop watching the review and just be like, oh shit, really? 100 bucks? It has USB C. Done. USB C. It's got some set screws here because it's literally put together. Small company like Ear Studio. No one ever heard of. And then they got real popular on the Ear Studio on ES100. So Quidelix. Quidlix. Small company. I actually, I love the way this is designed, by the way, with the little, it feels solid. More solid than the integrated ones that used to be on things. But yeah, actually, the Air Studio one's pretty good. Um, but the BTR5, as you have noticed, does not have a case. You can get the clear case it comes with and clip it in, but I run it in the leather case because it gives me a little strap and I can make it like a keychain. So that's kind of cute, except I don't know what this DD Hi-Fi case is supposed to do because it's magnetized on and there's no loop, so it's just like... There you go. 
but it uh nice build it's just plain it's got a little bit of fingerprints on it because i've been using it quite a lot uh there's your microphone you get i guess i have to go over this now should i just tell you all in case you, you a lot of people stop this review after like six minutes it sounds fucking amazing for 10 for 110 dollars the app really good solid options a lot of technical options options you'd like to see where the btr5 has a screen and you can go through and you can set high low gain and things like that this with the app is a lot more like user friendly for things like that so if you're wondering if you should buy it yes now let's move on to the reasons why i'm gonna punch it every once in a while if you notice one side's a little blue and one side's a little red that's not the default those lights come on when you press the buttons but they don't come on. They don't come on by default. You have to set that in the app. It's one of the options. You could set them to never come on, or set them always on like this, or set them a default action, which is whenever you touch it, it blinks. Uh, when it's pairing, it actually flashes back and forth and looks like a little cop car, and it's adorable. Um, the problem is, unless you're very used to it, and I haven't quite gotten there yet. Th there's no labels on anything. The only thing you get is this one side of the blue has a little ridge on top, and that's it. So if every day you put it in the pocket in the exact same orientation, you could probably learn the muscle memory of in the front is, is pause, because there's a rocker here. These are not just individual buttons. This little thing is a rocker. So that's volume up, and that's volume down. It's not a terrible system, because you can activate it like that. Fine. Um, play pause is up here. Power is the bottom one, and you hold it. Actually, hold on. Let me. Well, I have to go back to the app now. Hold on a second. We're going to go to uh, device. We're going to go to miscellaneous. Here's where it explains what's going on, and you can lock out things. So the default button behavior, and they label them as blue upper and, and red, blue upper lower and red upper lower. But unless you force the lights on, <laughs> unless you force the lights on, where is it? That's not it. It's showing me the battery indicator. I have it set to high quality mode, so it's sort of like draining the battery. Here you go. Um, normal. So now they're just dark switches. And that it's like, well, what is it? There's nothing written sideways of it that says this is volume up and down and this is power and play pause next track. It's just a little a little engraving, just at the default. And the reason I don't do that is because you could change the action of the buttons. You could do track backwards with BL single or power on off with red left and BL single, or you could lock the buttons and you could do a mic pass through on off with R U and B U single. So they don't write it on here because you could change it. But there's no <laughs> there's no indication of which side is which unless you're feeling that little thing. And a lot of times I'll clip it on the outside of my pants or the inside of my pants, or I won't even have pants because I'm Zeos and I just walk around with no pants. And they'll just be this floating on the end of a cable like that. And I'll go to do something and I'll do the wrong thing. So... <sighs> Another, I like the, I think I like the BTR5's controls better because it's just it's nothing on one side and everything's on the other and it's either a long rocker for volume or play pause or hold one side or the other for next to last track and there's the power button which uh, actually is that play pause or is that play pause? I forget. It's been a while. But it's all on one side and it's all dealable. This is like a mystery. Every time I pick it up I'm like wait hold it, hold, hold, not the top, which would make the sense, but the bottom, hold that for three seconds, and then that turns it on, and also is to enable Bluetooth searching, which it does the cop car flashing, so I'm... It sounds incredible. You're gonna get over this. This is just the bullshit I'm complaining about. I got over it, you got over it. You know how you get over it? You turn the fucking lights on, and you could set, obviously you could set eight levels of brightness for the lights, in case you, you know, that blue is too much. Let's take that blue down to level like five, level, 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 uh, get over, get, why is my thumb not, <clears throat> there you go, level two, very dim, dim lights, but we're, this is a review, so I'm just gonna crank, it's gotta be the app, it's not my phone, I scrolled through a lot of dirty pictures, it's gotta be the, the app, so now we have it set to the maximum, so at least for this review, I can breathe because I'm sure it's going to kill the battery a little bit faster. Also having it in performance mode. Um, 
Like the tour of the unit's basically done. The, the default settings are the red side up and down volume, and it's kind of nice having a dedicated up and down volume, whereas the BTR5 is up and down volume, but this is also change track by holding it and then letting go, and holding it and letting go is next track, last track, or tap for volume. Since this has a dedicated volume, I can go back and show you the volume. You get to just hold it and it will change the volume. Uh, just like the BTR5, this is the phone's volume. So if I adjust the phone setting, there, it knows there's 15 different levels because all phones are shitty when it comes to uh, what's called. Oh, by the way, it gives me a battery indicator that I didn't notice before. So we're just under 90%. I charged it before the review. So I'm going to crank this up. Boom. And then when we use the volume control here, whether we tap it once, which by the way is half a decibel increment. So either we tap it once, I go 17 and a half, 18, 18, 20, 20. I, I, maybe it's doing more than a half when I'm certain when I'm down. 21, 21 and a half. No, I think it's just me screwing it up. So I what was that? What? The volume plus button is dis what? Give me that again. The volume plus button is disabled when no audio streaming. Oh my god, what a that that's nice. So the music's not playing, it's paused. It's paused. It knows there's no music playing, it's not saying it's LDAC or anything. It won't let me crank the volume. Just this just happened. I did not realize this was a thing. Maybe we go some in performance mode and it's on four volts output to these. Which by the way. Um, the final review, like I was listening on, on KPH 30 eyes and that's literally the first thing you test everything on. If you don't know the set just to like, oh shit, is this going to blow up? Oh no, it didn't. Th th then, you know, you should, but, uh, Sundara and my original ether C flows with a uh, Yaxi pads. Cause oh fuck Yaxi. Um, that's nice. I, see, that's the little touches of things that I wish, I wish other units that I've played with, expensive Astral and Kern players and things like that, don't think about that. Like, hey, nothing's playing. Maybe we shouldn't let him raise the volume until he knows it's not going to blow his fucking head off. Or her. Her head off, too. No sexism here. So, I have to go now. So that means I have to play, which is that. Unless Fubar broke. Hold on, putting things on my head. No, okay, now it's playing. So now I can go up. Oh no, see, I did it again, just off of feel. I double tapped the thingy and it changed track. So the blue side is one press to play pause. One plus to play pause. Double press top for next track. Double press bottom for last track. Lenny Kravitz is playing good. And then we get access to our volume. But by feel alone, unless you train yourself to know that nipple exists, you gotta, you gotta train highly trained individuals with a lot of power with the nipple for play pause and then the, this if these lights weren't on i'd be so confused if this was just like i'm using it in my pocket i'd be so confused it needs something else or my brain needs to be trained better red red for volume now these are really hard to drive headphones and i would never ever imagine i could take them on a small little bluetooth thing but we can get to around, seriously, so you can get to zero dB and then there's still more to go in performance mode and on high gain. And they are moving. So yeah. Why are you gonna go my way? And I got to, got to know. Okay, I changed songs. Yeah, that's an impressive amount of power. These, these, these have no ability to be taken outside, like non-zero. But it's doing it. And I'm pretty sure BTR5 would probably get close. If not, like it would be, it would be a tight match for power. But then we got to start touching the app again. 
like to show off the app and what's capable of it. And watch me break it now with the cleaning rack. So I'll leave it playing. Here it says Sony LDAC 441 at 909 kilobits a second. And if it doesn't work for you on that, where's input? Um, God, it sounds so good. It sounds good from here. I love being able to hold the volume and having just go all the way down and go all the way up. Instead of tap, 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 like the BTR5. That is one super nice thing. State, um, first, first, first thing, first page. First page is device, device. Connection, QDLX, firmware, um, came out at the end of September. I have a warranty with 364 days left. It says here if I write a review on Amazon or anything and tell them about it, or even on an audio community, like Hi-Fi Guides, if you go to the Quadelix 5K post and Hi-Fi Guides, linked in the description, Zeos in the future, make sure there is one, and you post, um, they'll extend it up to eight months. It's kind of like weird that they're gonna, that's what they're making you pay for your extended warranty is just by making a, a post. They don't say positive. They just say, talk about the Qdelix and say if it needs feature changes or anything. So I'm hoping this video qualifies me, Zeos Pantera, the owner of not one but two Qdelix to extend their warranty up to eight months. We'll talk about where the other one is in a second because I need to understand. So that tells me the firmware version, the warranty, and then you see these buttons. <laughs> it says system, power off pairing mode, system reset, reset all settings. Help technical information use my... Now I thought, being that this is an app, those would be settings about power off. Like when does it power off? How often does it power off? Or pairing mode or system reset. Those are just commands. So when I hit power off, it will power it off. But you can't power it back on unless you hold the button. Then you got to go into the pairing thing and the Bluetooth menu. So be careful. And I don't know if clicking over here will do it. It might have to be on the letters themselves, but fuck not touching it again. Battery status. You could see it was charged as hell. Time in minutes, up to a thousand minutes, and it's just went whoop, fell right down. Then I paused it and it leveled off. I don't know if I could zoom that in. No, I can't zoom it in. Voltage 4.11, 4.155 volts. Uh, we're at 85% volume, 85% battery. And then you have an option for charging on or off because currently it's not charging. So it's telling you about what's coming on. Power. Auto power mode. None, which is as is. So it means you plug in the cord, you don't plug in the cord. It just is on or off, it's just whatever it was. Then there's on at USB DAC. So if you have it plugged into a computer, if I whipped out the cable it comes with and plug it into a, a laptop, this will act as your uh, DAC amp for your laptop. It doesn't have to just be Bluetooth. You can plug it into your phone as a DAC amp. And you can set it in which way it's currently set by default. When it detects you're plugging into a thing with signal, with a brain behind it, not just a wall outlet, off at charger, on off upon charger, it'll turn on. On off upon charger, that's for if you put this fucker in your car. That's basically car mode, it just doesn't say car mode. They should just say car mode in there because that's what it's for. It's for having a cigarette lighter with a USB charger, going to your Quadelix Q5, and then that's going out through the probably the balanced, I would imagine, into some nice DAC under the, the amp under the seat. Turn your car on, power appears, it turns on. Turn your car off, power disappears, it turns off. That's car mode. That would be useful if, uh, actually I could put that in Brandon's BMW because he's got a cassette adapter. Doesn't matter, we're going past that. Then there's built-in charger, enable or disable, which specifically says it's for um, some Apple devices will attempt to charge this, but only at 100 milliamps, and that's not enough. So you could disable the built-in charger if you plug it into the, an Apple device so that it doesn't just drain, it's weird drain issues, you can disable it. Miscellaneous, this is previous track, double click right, upper, left, down. Option, the power on off shortcut with the two button press can be enabled, single, blue, lower can be pressed and be mapped for navigating for previous track. Oh God. I don't, I don't want to even think about remapping the keys on that. Just learn them. So auto reconnect singular multiple LED mode. This is where I changed it to always on. I don't care if it kills the battery for this, for the point of this review and the next until this battery dies, I'm going to leave red and blue on. So I know that red is volume and blue is power and next track. 
Let's so leave the, the brightness up. About is just basically telling you the version of the app. Now we have five things on the bottom. So input, and then five things on the bottom, and this second one has four categories on top. We've got state, codec, USB, and mic. State, streaming, source, Bluetooth. Codec, Sony LDAC, trademark. Sample rate, 441. Bits per sample, 24 bit. Bit rate, 909. Then you have LDAC latency, short, or ag short and aggressive, or normal and stable. That's for like the delay, and I am no way in, I don't need my music to be perfectly in time. If you are like trying to do gaming off of it, you might wanna switch to short and aggressive, but you're not, I don't think. And then over here, it explains that if LDAC doesn't work, you have to go into your phone's developer settings to turn it on, blah, 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 blah. You could read that in the app if you get the thing. Then here is lets you select which codecs you wanted to try to connect to, and I would love to shut off SBC, which is the shittiest, oldest, like, Bluetooth 3.0 but it's mandatory, so you cannot shut that off. You could shut off all the other ones. You could shut off AAC or Aptex or Aptex HD or Aptex Adaptive. Don't shut off any of them. I would maybe shut off AAC because if SBC comes on, you're pretty much screwed. Everything sounds like ass. AAC will at least sound okay. Put Aptex, Aptex HD, and all the Sony LDAC are the ones you want to listen to music on. USB, um, when you plug it in, you can have it set to uh, either all of these it'll select or just one particular it's set to 96 force 96 which i'm fine with mic so it has a built-in mic little tiny little pinhole on top which um one of the better features i've seen on this earphone inline mic or the 5k built-in mems mic so that means you can plug in your beautiful kph 30 eyes which have an inline mic for like making phone calls and you could switch it to use that not many of them do that. Not many at all. And then you could set the mic pass through for voice calls or music. So that's also a nice thing. Set up currently for voice calls. I guess if I set it up for music, it would also use that mic when I'm using like the Telegram app because I'm not in a call. I'm just using it for whatever. And then the, with the newest uh, firmware, by the way, it adds ambient noise. Which microphone pass-through mode enables you to hear the ambient sound when the music streaming and voice call during the phone call helps you listen to your own voice. Because some people can't talk while they can't hear themselves. Like if you're using IEM and stuff and it blocks it out entirely. So um, for voice calls, the ambient mix ratio is 50-50, but you could set it anywhere from negative 50 to positive 50. I don't really like use it that much, but that's nice. It's nice. And here's your uh, microphone gain. So in case you're peeking the shit out of whatever you put on your body. Volume where we were, this screen, you've seen this screen, I've seen this screen. I love how the RMS volts is in exponential values. 6.8 E to the power of two, 6.6 E to the power of two, 6.4 E to the power of two volts, micro volts, MV, the little lowercase m capital V. So this is just basically showing you what's going on. And the options, you know, the choose between absolute volume or It'll give you either like to decibels or percentage. And then volume protection is on, but it's set to the maximums anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna shut off volume protection because you can set it so that you can't blow it up, which if you know you're using a specific pair of IEMs or super duper efficient headphones, something like that, you can set a volume limit. Another good thing. I like things that protect my ears. It seemed to, a lot of things just want to blow my ears up and it's nice to see it. So you can set your volume limit, your channel volume left, right. You do your balancing in here. Um, tone volume. What the hell is that? I'm to read. This is the much book, book reading there is at the bottom of this. Why? Unlike USB audio, camera, camera volume protection. I don't see it. Okay. Tone volume. Don't know what that does. You guys play with it. Tell me, report back. Getting out of the uh, volume setting. DAC amp, uh, active status, profile. Now, the, the either you have performance or standard, which is here. So even though it's telling you the profile here, the selection for the profile is there. So you could have completely eliminated that because you could just look down here to see if it's performance or standard. And then output power, normal or high. For these, I had to put on high. If I only was using the Sundars or something else, I really would just leave it on low gain. And I performance versus standard, it says it uses a little more battery, so it's probably doing a little more processing. You can read, read all about it, 
read all about what the hell it's doing down here because I could just, I'm not going to sit here and read. I'm just blocking anime girls. So yes, then filter setting. And this is that thing that I'm like, well, I don't hear a difference anytime I set linear phase, fast roll off, linear phase, slow roll off, minimum phase, fast roll off, minimum phase, slow roll off, appetizing, fat, blah, fuck, fuck. But this one does show you a graph of what it's changing. And it actually is quite a, a large like variation of what's happening. If you look here, it looks like a lot's happening. Until you read the bottom of the graph and you go, okay, that's 1K, that's 10K, that's 100K. 100,000, 100,000. And but it's doing a lot of shit below 100,000, but it's doing it right above the 10K, it's doing the next one up, which is 20,000. And a lot of these, do not even come, it's like 25,000 hertz is when it starts doing anything. So again, this is, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I can't even hear 20. Never mind 20 fucking 3,000 hertz and what it's doing when it drops down 150, is that decibels? This is negative 150. What are we, I don't, I, look, I don't like filters. If you under, if you under, can actually hear filters. Again, I'll ask again. If you are, I got plenty of people watching this video. Have you ever changed a filter setting, like the roll-offs and the, the linium flavor? Have you ever changed that and notice a difference and we're like, oh, obviously I'm gonna use this one. Anybody out there, please, I'm not, not judging you. Come forward and say, hey, I've heard it on this headphone with this unit on this song. I just wanna know. I just wanna know if it's ever happened. We gotta get out of this now, go to EQ. Okay, so the equalizer. Not the sh not the movie with the uh, Denzel Washington or the older one, which um, I'm gonna switch it back to G E Q because that's what everyone knows. Or um, maybe yeah, here you go, yeah, which is just you know the standard like 31 uh, hertz, 63, but you could adjust this. It's all fine and dandy, but then there's the option menu, which takes it out of G E Q to P E Q, which is parametric equalizer, and then you could change the headroom from negative six to negative 12 if you want to get a lot of range. You fuck with it. And then you can just change where the custom presets are. So if you go to like negative, then the app crashes. I, that's twice it's happened. That's twice. It says, well, we were done with that anyway. We're done with the app. Only, only time it crashes is when I try to switch it to parametric EQ. And then I load it and then the parametric EQ works fine. So go figure. But I shouldn't need the app. You don't need the app. Once you set this up, you could just uninstall the app. It doesn't need to be there. You could Bluetooth this to anything you want. All your settings are saved internally. Horses and arrow. All right, I'm going to change this out because more realistically, I would take these out. And they're a lot easier to drive, even though that doesn't matter, apparently. Pause. So overall, this is sort of like a baby, a love child between an Air Studio 100 and a BTR5. It has a lot of the same sound characteristics, a lot of the same magic, acoustically. A little bit harder to get used to like the shape and the feel and the, the controls, but if you do, it would probably outperform the, the switches, the single side switches on this. This looks sexier. That's just, that's just, I mean, I put, I put the same little sticker on this as I put on other things. I just put a sticker on it. It's got high res things behind glass. So, I mean, I don't, I don't think this dethrones the BTR5, but fuck, it gives it a run for its money. And it's a little bit cheaper. Just a little bit. I actually don't remember what the price, 130 for this, 110 for that. Both on Amazon, so you're not like ordering from some strange website. It, it just comes down to which one you, do you want the app with all those features? We do want a little more simplicity and, you know, no one's making a leather case for the Cordelix Q5 and DD Hi-Fi is making one for this. So like a little bit more of a brand like Fio is probably actually Cordelix has been real good with getting back to me. I think they've had some some people have had issues on my patronage chat and they just like immediately get back to them. Like, oh, you need to fix this. Hold on. Done. Oh, a new firmware. That's another thing. A lot of things are being added with firmware on this. This is a this is a company like Ear Studio was with the ES100, trying to make a name for themselves. Fio doesn't have to make a name for themselves. They're done. So there's going to be firmware update after firmware update after firmware update. They added 10 more EQ presets just in this last update on the 25th of September. So this is going places, and this is established. And the BTR3K 
um, is the cheapest. So I mean, like, if you just don't have a hundred dollars to spend in it, and you have like eighty, and you get that. But if you have a little bit over a hundred, you could get the Ear Studio, which I, I, this beats the Ear Studio for sound. But then the BTR5 also beats the Ear Studio for sound. So now are we even considering the Ear Studio? Because that's got another app, and that's got an app. We've got apps versus apps versus sound quality versus I am. Now I, I should be showing this off with an I am. It's fucking fine. I've got like $1,500 IMs over there. It's perfectly clean and noiseless. Noiseless. Jump to this timestamp. It's perfectly clean and noiseless on an IM. But I always found the BTR5 also perfectly clean and noiseless. So there's that. I think the, a lot of people said the ES100 was also like real. Like I think once you're in, somehow this $100 price bracket is just full of winners. Not a bad thing. Oh, Zeus, you're just jacking off on another good product again. Yeah, I tend to do that for good products. What do you want me to do? I'm not going to shit on something that's good. It's just in a complicated field where there's a lot of other options. So it's basically like the love of my life, the BTR5, versus the Cordelix 5K, which is another 5. I wonder if that's for correlation. Um, I could take either one. Oh, I've, I promised to show you where the other one was. That's where the other one is. Do you recognize this big, hunking, gray mass? Yeah, that's my Stax amp. The portable Stax amp that I was like, this is amazing. I can't wait to use my Stax portably. Well, um, when the time came to, to finally put my babies on my head, and I'm going to have to just unplug that and then remove this uh, blue tack or gray tack in this matter. And then I'll unplug this. And I'm going to have to use, unfortunately, it does not have a balanced input. And then, oh, then the best part is you could go in here and set it specifically to a line out. But you could set the volume in the app to line, basically, which is zeros at the correct voltage. And then, where's my pause? Right now, I'm just guessing. So now the one thing that this was missing to make it useful for taking stacks on the go was Bluetooth. And there it is. Metal on metal. Don't you fucking love that sound? Isn't it like nails on a chalkboard? I know you love it. So yeah, uh, I would say this test, this pairing would probably be like, screw all that shit. Just from a line out quality of sound coming through the Bluetooth being slightly amplified into this pretty much sold me on the Quidelix Q5. 5K. It's not a Q. It's not a BTR. It's just 5K. Time to redo the entire review. No, that's that's fantastic. It's fantastic like this. And it's probably even better when you actually power headphones with it. You know, whatever. But that's an honor. You should be honored, Quidelix. Quadix. Quadlix. Cuddylux. Cuddylux. It, it's not quad. It's quid. It's not quid. There's no I. It's Cuddylux. I would have worked in that name a little bit more. But I'm sure the URL was free. So yeah, that's an honor to be hooked up to my Stax portable energizer and rocking my L700s. Tap, tap. Hold on. I have to have a moment. Fuck the slow-mo. Okay, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. I'm shutting that off. I'm shutting that off. So I, I guess that's approval. That's a that's a ha golf claps for me. If you're interested in this, luckily you could find it on Amazon because it's probably in stock until this video comes out. And the problem with that is if you're not a patron or a subscriber, so a subscriber, this video is going to come out publicly and you could be like, where'd they all go? And if everyone on my patronage or a subscribe star bought them, now they're out of stock which is a great reason to join my Patreon or subscribe star. See these videos a week early. Participate in the yard sales, which happen from the 1st to the 10th of every month. Since I have two of them, I might throw one in the yard sale. I mean, they're 110 bucks. Maybe you offer me like 5183. And then I ship for free to content the United States. You just got half off for five bucks. It's not bad. It's a good order. Think about it with your brain hole. And then I uh, ship half shipping international, which 
could ruin that theorem because shipping to like England is just insane right now because there's no flights because COVID. Um, so yeah, see these reviews early, participate in the yard sales, ask me any questions you want on platform. I'm a bit behind, but I'll eventually get to your question. I promise if I don't get to my question, my kids or my grandkids or my great grandkids will eventually turn on a computer and be like, what's this dog? And then they'll answer all the questions. Um, subscribe to our Patreon. Neither one, both of them have the exact same benefits. And on both of them, you can join, if you don't want to wait for me to answer your questions, the $10 behind the scenes Telegram Patreon chat. Subscribe to our Patreon, Patreon behind the scenes, uh, elite taxer chat for 10 bucks on Telegram, where I will answer your questions, well, immediately unless I'm doing a review and then I can't get to my phone. My phone's here. Actually, is anyone here? Let's see. Uh, trash taste podcast giga put out a video yep house of patronage two two people have one, one, one answers for me and i will give them their answers as soon as we're done here so that's 10 bucks a month and that you stay in that for three months or up to three months and then it gets recycled and as long as you're a current patron you get back in it's a whole thing anyway and they got their own private swap meet between them it's like 160 people in that alone just trading gear so that the wallpaper is available to download in the description of this video you can crop that out and put it on your phone. She's baller with that scar, although I think it's slightly scaled down, unless she's a giant, you know, schoolgirl. It's gonna be giant schoolgirls. Uh, don't forget to check out Hi-Fi Guides and the Hi-Fi Guides forum, which is a forum set up by myself and uh, DMS, and it's a pretty cool place. And we have uh, some excellent moderation there. And I really need to buy them like Christmas gifts and stuff. Yeah, Mon and Joe need like gifts, bearing gifts. I need to come. I actually got to hire strippers to do it. I'm pretty sure either one will accept male or female strippers. So it's probably cheaper that way. But yes, bearing gifts. We have a wonderful staff that works for literally nothing, but they need something. So I should make a Patreon that's just for them to get paid. Or a not safe for work subscribe star for them to get paid. Then they could do real dirty shit. All right, whatever. Wallpaper. Hi-Fi Guides, Hi-Fi Guides the Forum, Hi-Fi Guides the Wallpaper, Hi-Fi Guides the Flamethrower. Um, I'll see you all tomorrow, and thank you, Crudelix, for sending me two of these. I, I might sell one, but then again, I might not. But then again, I have a whole bag of just the old Bluetooth things, and this is better. If you come out with a bigger one, like a, like a, like a stick one that does like twice the power, sign me the fuck up. See you tomorrow.